the median and quartiles of a list of numbers. First step, make sure your data is in order of size, smallest to largest. The median is always the middle number, and 24 here is right in the center, so that's the median. Now look at the lower half of the data. The middle number there is 8. 8 is the lower quartile. Look at the upper half of the data. The middle number there is 26. That's the upper quartile. Example 2. The middle number is 5. So that's the median. Look at the lower half of the data. The middle number there is two and a half. That's the lower quartile. Look at the upper half of the data. The middle number there is seven and a half. That's the upper quartile. If you have more difficult numbers to work with, all we're doing here is we're adding these two together and then dividing by two. Adding these two together and then dividing by two. Example 3, for this data, no single number is right in the center. So you take the middle two, the 4 and the 8, and halfway between them will be your median. So the median will be 4 plus 8 divided by 2. So the median is 6. The median is equal to 6. And then take the lower half of your data. The middle number there is 1. That's the lower quartile. Take the upper half of your data. The middle number there is 13. So that's the upper quartile. Example 4. You have some data. The number of data values is even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And when you have an even number of values, you never have a value right in the center. So right in the middle here, we don't have any number here. So you have to work out the average of these two. So 12 plus 18 divided by 2. And that gives you 15. So that's the median. The median is equal to 15. And then you take the lower half of your data. And you look for the number that's right in the middle. There isn't one. So if you take the 8 and the 10, what's halfway between the 8 and the 10? That's the lower quartile, and that will be 9. And then you take the upper half of your data. There's no value that's right in the center. So as before, you take halfway between 19 and 20. So you can add them up and divide by 2, or you can tell it's going to be 19 and a half. So the upper quartile is equal to 19.5. And then if you're looking for the interquartile range, the interquartile range is always the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, so it will be 19.5 minus 9.